Hello there, this is Angela, and welcome to Sync Apps. And together with me today is John, our lead sales engineer, and Dax, our tech lead. And we will be talking about the NetSuite token-based authentication. So John, talking about authentication type, how does token-based authentication is suggested compared to the username and password? All right, so here in Sync Apps, we do support um, two authentication types for NetSuite the username and password, and the token-based authentication. We recommend using the token-based authentication because it has three main benefits. The first one is that um, this has no, you know, um, this has no password expiration issues, which may, you know, stop the integration from running. The second one is that you can run five concurrent integrations with NetSuite here in Sync apps using the same token-based authentication credentials. And the last one is that this is much more secured compared to the username and password because this has two-factor authentication usage. I agree, John. Hey, Dax, can you share how to set up a token-based authentication at NetSuite? Thanks, Joyce. So absolutely, uh, the first thing um, we need to do is to enable the token-based authentication in your NetSuite account. So uh, first, you log into your NetSuite account. Uh, once you log in and um, just click the uh, by the way you you need to be you need to have an administrator access or if you don't have you can ask your administrator to do this for you so uh, once log in just click the uh, setup company and then click the enable features and then click the sweet cloud sub tab and under the manage authentication panel uh, check the enable token-based authentication checkbox and then save. Next, we'll have to create the um, integration. So click the setup, uh, the main setup tab and then head over to integrations, manage integrations, and then click the new button. So for the pur purpose of this demo, we'll, we'll name the new integration Sync Apps integration. So, Please make sure to tick the token-based authentication option and then uncheck the TBA authorization flow and authorization uh, code grant option and check the issue token and point option. So uh, if you already have an integration record for sync apps, you can actually reuse it uh, by editing the integration and checking the token-based authentication option. So. Uh, Make sure to please copy the consumer key and consumer secret values to be used in your uh, same profile uh, configuration. Please take note that the uh, consumer key and consumer secret values are displayed only once. So please make sure to you copy them. And then now we'll have to create uh, the role. Actually, you can use existing roles. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, is uh, we're going to create a new role. So head over to setup and then user roles, manage roles, and then click new. So create the role and assign necessary permissions for uh, sync apps integration. So <clears throat> for the list of permissions that you need to um, assign to this specific role is uh, just head over to uh, kazumi.com and yeah, or you can go uh, Google it, kazumi uh, space TBA and the first hit will be uh, the page uh, that uh, we're going to help you set set us up. So um, uh, the most important are permissions, by the way, uh, that you have to make sure that you add to the role is the user access tokens and the uh, web service uh, permission. So the next step is we'll create uh, the access token. So Again, click Setup, and then head over to Users Roles, and then click Access Tokens, and click New. So, uh, for the application name, is you have to select the if you remember the integration that we've created, so you have to select that, and then a user, and make sure the user has or um, have the same or under the role that you've created for this uh, integration like for example the sync apps role so uh, you may have to edit uh, the user access and add the, the role that we've created to that user so you can 
uh, proceed with creating the access token. So for the token M, uh, it's actually uh, populated automatically, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. And then once you uh, click save, uh, a token ID and token secret will be displayed. Um, and also please copy this because this, this will be only displayed once. And this will uh, you will need this to uh, configure your sync profile in Kazumi. And actually, that's it for uh, the other uh, requirements for setting up your sync profile, like the account ID. You can uh, get grab your account ID actually from your uh, um, NetSuite URL. It's the first part. Usually, it's a numeric number, so you don't have to worry about that. And once this is uh, you set, set, set us up correctly, so um, you're good to go. And um, yeah, um, the advantage of using TBA versus the using the standard um, login process like using username and password is that for TBA, you can actually run up to five concurrent syncs. So you can create uh, up to, I mean, you may create more than five sync profile, but you can uh, enable to schedule it uh, to run up to five sync profile at the same time. So yeah, uh, TBA is really very powerful and uh, much recommended uh, for your NetSuite integration needs. Thank you, Joyce. Thanks, Dax and John. These are very helpful information in understanding token-based authentication. So that's it for now. If you guys have any questions or feedback, you can always contact us at support at kazumi.com. And to keep you updated with our newest videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button here. Again, this is Angela, and see you on our next videos. Bye!